I want to talk about, uh, let's talk about throwing the uppercut, both the left and the right, or the right and the left if you're a southpaw. In my opinion, it's a very underutilized punch, okay? Uh, so we want to start working it into the mix. Especially when you get with somebody and you're throwing combinations at them and they're putting their head down. Perfect time for me to throw the uppercut, okay? So let's look at it, okay? So here's how it's going to look, and then I'll bring Sandra out to help me, okay? So I'm going to throw a one-two, okay? As the two's coming back to my face, I'm just going to sit back down over my lead foot, okay? That's going to load me up for that uppercut. So one-two, and instead of coming back here, I fire the one-two. I get you blinking, putting your head down. I'm going to drop down. Now when I throw this uppercut, my weight's coming back to my back foot. Bing, that's going to load me up to do what? Come with that right hand, bing, okay? So we're going to throw the one-two. We're going to sit down. I'm going to throw the uppercut, bring my weight to my back foot, and then the cross is going to come down the pipe, okay? I want you guys to factor in that when you land a combination on somebody, even if it hits their gloves, they're going to react to it. That buys you time. People are like, well, how do I sit down? Dude's looking at me. No, he's going to blink. He's shelling up. That's going to buy you about a second, which is a good amount of time. So I fire that one, too, and I'm going to sit right here, okay? I'm going to bring my weight to my back foot, fire that uppercut. Bam, cross is coming in. So let's look at it together now, okay? She's going to throw that one, two. She's going to leave the weight on her front foot. And as the hand comes back to her face, she's sitting down. So throw the one, two. Boom, boom. Sit down. Uppercut onto your back foot. Weight. Freeze right there on your back foot. Again, one, two. Boom, boom. Uppercut. Back foot. Throw the cross. Bang. Okay, so I want you to see the transfer of weight happening. Okay? I'm going one. I throw the two. I'm on my front foot. I stay there. Okay, so watch her again. One, two. Sit down. Look at her weight right there. I'll find your balance. Oh, my God. You better find your balance. One, two, sit. Right there. Her weight's loaded up now to throw that uppercut. She's going to bring it up the guard, freeze, and then the two down the middle. Bam, okay? One more time. Watch her weight transfer from the front foot to the back foot on the uppercut to put you in position to throw the cross. One, two, sit down, fire. Go ahead. Bam, bam. Okay, get that hand back to your face a little quicker at the end. Bam, bam, sit, fire. Bam, bam. Good. You guys see it? We're going to start right there, and we'll build up. One, two, go to work. Now, freeze. Go back. Look at you left your weight here like this. How are you going to throw a right hand from here like that? Look, I'm going to dip down, and look, I'm going to shoot this, and my weight went right here so I can bow. Okay? Better, better, better. Let's see. Now, you need to be accurate with the pads. One, two. Sit down. Uppercut, cross. Get back to your stance quicker. Go. Bomb, bomb. Sit. Bomb, bomb. Now, be more legs when you sit. One, two. Now, look, as this is coming back to my face, I'm going to go down. Drop, fire. I want you to sit more in the middle, not out here like this. I want you right down in the middle. Go, in the middle. Now quicker, go. Sit, fire. I need you to fire quicker now, that uppercut. Bam, bow. There you go. Now don't overextend. See how that puts you off balance? Nice, good, Hannah, good. Again, you're aiming under the chin in real life, right? Right under that chin, okay? Good job, good job. Nice, nice. Let's go. Remember, the harder you hit his hands, the harder he'll punch. So when he throws that one, two, look at it. Now he has the confidence. Go. Ah, ah. He's got the confidence, okay? By you holding firmly, it's going to give him confidence to throw harder. Look at I'm seeing a couple things people are doing wrong here, okay? Um, remember, when I drop for this uppercut here, if I leave my weight here, how am I going to throw my cross from here like this? It's going to be an arm punch. I mean, you might pull it off. But I need to be able to drop down so when that two lands, my weight's going right in here. My head's slightly off the line. I don't want to lean too much this way. Okay, one, two, I'm sitting down. My weight's going backward. That puts my body in position to follow up now with what? That rear glove. Bum, okay? So it's one, two, I'm sitting down. Weight's here, weight's here, weight's here. Weight's back to my back foot. The transfer of weight matters a lot. If you're not transferring that weight, you're not going to gain the respect of your opponent. If they don't respect you, where they go in the whole fight? Straight at you, okay? So I need to make sure I'm sitting down and transferring the weight. It's here, I'm dropping down, I'm going back foot, front foot, then back to my stance. On two, one, two. Why do I sweat when I do this? I'm not even doing anything. Fuck. Nice. Now remember, the one, two doesn't have to be hard. I'm trying to draw what out of him? Bum, bum, there, that's hard. Wow, wow. The last two are hard. Bum, bow, see it? Okay, so it's quick and then bang. Yep. Time, bring it in real quick. You guys got to understand how to change the speed and tempo. What's that one, two doing? I'm just trying to draw that high guard and force his head back down. 
I don't have to throw that one too hard. I just have to throw it, ba-ba. So it's going to be like ba-ba, ba-ba at the end. So it's quick here, boom, bam. Now I throw the hard shots, ba-ba. I don't want to waste power if there's no opening. If you're throwing into an alley that's covered, you're going to get your battery drained. I'm using that one, two to get him to put his head down right here. Okay, so it's just quick, bum, bum. And there's the hard shot now. Opening's there. Now I can hit hard. Boom, weight shifts, bang. Okay, so it should sound like ba, 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 ba. Tempo changes like music. Boom, boom, ba, ba. Don't go ba, 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 ba. That one, two isn't open and you force it, you're just draining your battery. Okay, so change the tempo. Boom, boom, bam, bam. One, two, go. Throwing out absolute sauce for y'all tonight, huh? Think about the sound. Boom, boom, bam, bam. Boom, boom, bam, bam. Yes. Now think about it. you didn't change the tempo though. Look, two, two, bam, bam. A quick one, two, a hard five, two. All you want to do, Lethos, is get his hands up and make him blink. And then you're firing. Ah, ah, the last two really hard. Yep, I'm going front foot, back foot. One, two, I sit down. And yeah, yeah. Okay. Rip those last two punches. Yes, yes. Sheesh. Nice, Omar. Now the music didn't change. It was, uh, 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 uh. I want, uh, uh. okay. There you go, right? You want to change the speed because they're trying to do what? Time you. Therefore, if you're always changing the speed, you're harder to what? Harder to time. How do you hit someone? By timing them. So I play with the tempo and the speed to throw you off and your ability to time me, okay? Okay, listen up real quick. Listen up real quick and then we're gonna change it up. I need you guys to understand something. One of your opponent's jobs is to go out there and start picking up your timing. Therefore, if you do everything at the same speed all the time, isn't that gonna make it easier for them to time you? Therefore, you have to alternate between fast, mid, and slow. Fair enough? If you're one of those things all the time, your opponent's gonna time you. If he times you, you're in trouble. Therefore, you have to create a speed and then break it. If I'm throwing fast punches, it's gonna be the slow one that lands. As crazy as that sounds, why? Because you've timed my speed. So now I'm gonna slow it down a hair, you react early, bing, I hit you. Playing with the timing is gonna allow you to be harder to time. Okay, so if I'm going fast, mid, and slow, you're gonna play with the timing of them trying to time you, okay? So that's also why that's so goddamn important. Now we're gonna throw a one, two, three. Again, these first three punches are just quick and I want you to get your hands up and put that chin down. So I'm throwing the one, two. Now when the three is coming back, I'm sitting down onto my back foot, okay? One, two, weight's on the front foot. When I throw this three, my weight's going backward as I'm bringing it back to my face, I'm crouching. I don't wanna do this when I throw the uppercut. I'm gonna get hit with a counter punch. I'm creating a massive window. So I go jab, weight's back here, cross, weight turns to the front. I bring my weight back on that hook. As it comes back, I dip down. When I throw this rear uppercut, my weight's coming forward again. Boom. Behind it, I'm putting the left hook. That puts me back where? On my back foot in my boxing stance. So I'm going to throw a quick one, two, three. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Sit. Bomb, bow. Okay? Come on out here. Let's try it together, Sandra. So a quick one, two, three. She's going to sit on her back foot. One, two, three. Nice and slow. She sits down, fires the uppercut and the hook to put her back in her stance. One more time, one, two, three. Sit on that back foot, fire. Bomb, bomb, now put it together. Boom, 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 sit, boom, bow. Quicker, boom, 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 sit, boom, bow. You guys got it? On two, one, two. I'm throwing this right hand when he blocks. Again, the reason I'm dipping is because the guy showed me that it's a tendency. He's putting his head down and closing his eyes, so pick it up. Look, when my hand's coming back, I'm already out of his line of sight and off the line. I want to be able to use the right hand for that, not always just do this, okay? Look, so I'm going to throw it, bring it back, and just dip down. Okay, my head's off the line and I'm loaded up. Boom, boom. So learn how to use that right hand to disappear. Okay, it's gonna be important. You get out of their line of sight and you're setting up to either hit that liver or that uppercut upstairs by just throwing this and then bam, just disappearing over that front leg. You're perched up to throw a good hook or an uppercut there all day. So I want you guys to take that, put it in your notes. Okay, it's uppercut week over here at Lifestyle, so we're gonna be doing the same shit again on Thursday, perfecting how to set up and throw these uppercuts, okay? If you guys got your water, let's spread out. We're going to spar on two, one, two. Let's go for it, guys. Spread out. Let's get that music up. Let's get that music up. Guys, lock in. Find somebody. We're going two minutes. We're playing football in here now. <laughs> uh, listen up. Hey, let me have your attention, okay? I'm going to give you guys something right now that's going to help you out tremendously. What that is is you guys need to realize trajectory matters. You know what I mean by that? 
That means if all you're doing is throwing straight punches at someone, all they have to do is, you're not giving them much to think about. That's where hooks, uppercuts come in. I got to aim at places that are not just straight ahead. Though I've talked about straight punches winning fights, you got to throw at different trajectories to give your opponent more to think about. Okay, it's going to create an opening again for a straight punch by throwing a hook or an uppercut or an uppercut. Again, the more they have to think about, the better. Okay, options create chaos. The more I give you to think about, the more chaotic the fight is going to get for you. Get me? Options create chaos. Give them something more to think about than just the one and the two. Got me? I'm going to see you guys Thursday, okay? On two, one, two. Os. All right, if you guys enjoyed that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. Tell them to like, subscribe, all that shit. You have to, bro. Hey, Mando. All right, like. All right, Josh got the mic. Now we're going to commentate uh, sparring. All right, let's talk shit. We got Hannah Banana right here sparring. She's kind of dressed like a banana, not going to lie. Look at that fit. Yellow and red. This is where she gets all her anger out right here. Yep. Don't be afraid to hit her in the head. She deserves it. What is that fee word? Come on. You got to punch longer than that. Sandra, why aren't you sparring? No mouthpiece. I used to spar all the time with no mouthpiece. Look what happened to your knee. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. That's fucked up. All right, let's see who else. Let's go book Dylan. Dylan, yeah. He's got the green on. Right here, black Fairtex gloves and the Reebok shoes. Let's see, what's his style? Look at him. He's using that jab, measuring his distance, coming into the body. He's in that right hand. Let's see what he's got in the tank. He's trying to get off the center line after throwing that right hand. Left hook upstairs, Dylan. Come on. You got to get in there. He's taller. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at him. He's flowing. He's flowing. We out here commentating today. Ooh, let's, let's, let's watch a chick fight. Camila. Que pasa, Camila? Hey, Camila, hit her for me. <laughs> She's been bad. She's been bad girl. Liver shot. Liver shot. Ooh, Dylan's getting in the ring. Sheesh. Dylan and Omar. Let's go, boys. Come on. Look at this ugly ass. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Let's see what they got. Let's see what O's got. Oh. Come on, D. Look at Coach Murph. Look at Coach Murph. This guy's just savage. He's just murfing, doing Murph things. Xavier, what are those? Bro, the best, bro. Deep River, Zesty Jalapeno Chips. Hey, yo, shout out. Hey, sponsor us. Tell them to sponsor us. Yeah. Because we give a chip, brother. Come on. Come on. Yo. Come on. Damn. Come on, brother. We give a chip. No cap. All right, back to the boxing. Hell no, it's great. It's great. Fucking. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Come on. Let's go. We got 15 seconds. Go, Camila. Barriga. Yeah. Switch. Let's go, team. Let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Bow and bow. Let's go. 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 Go, go, go. I seen it. God dang it. Throw the left hook. Throw the three. One, two, three. Now three. 
Two, three, two, three. There you go. I need more hook. I need more three, more three. I set it up though. One, two, three, two, three, two. Hell yeah, Jose. You guys got 110. Let's go. Let's go, guys. One minute. One minute. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Ah, oh, that's a good question. I know how to say it in Portuguese, but it's different. It's different in Spanish. Liver punch. Liver, liver. 10 seconds. Nice, there we go. Time, everybody, switch. Switch. Let's go, I'm gonna start the timer. Let's go, I'm gonna start the timer. Y'all are wasting your time, not mine. I already know this shit, let's go. Y'all gotta learn it. Put that work in. Go with that, Vato. Come on, get up here, champ. Protect your body, Camila. Yeah, protect your face and your body. Nice, Dylan. Nice. 90 seconds. Fire off the movement, Carlitos. Fire off the movement. Fire off of it. Yeah, there you go. You're going to freeze him with the movement, then fire. There you go. Nice, Omar. Nice. Keep your head moving, Omar. Okay? One minute. Carlitos is getting thick. Look at that boy. Kid's getting strong, huh? Keep that back glove up tight to your chin. Let's go, guys. You got 40 seconds. Don't be timid, Sandra. Get in there. Let's go. Get in there. 30 seconds. Ooh, nice, Dylan. 20 seconds. Let's go. Looking good, guys. Let's go. That switch. Let's go. Switch. Find somebody. Out pot right there, boy. Let's go, boy. Don't let him bully you, Angel. There you go. Move your feet now, Angel. Move your feet out of the ropes. That way. That way. That way. Yeah. Chin down, Angel. Chin down. Stay relaxed. Don't hit each other too hard. Y'all don't have anything to protect your teeth, so careful, okay? There you go, Ken. Nice, Ryan. Nice, Ryan Ventura. Look at the boy Ryan Ventura, bro. I'm starting to hit another level over there. The boy Ryan's looking kind of nice over there. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's looking nice. He's working hard, that boy. He's working his ass off. Him and Jose have been living here. They've been here all the time. Forty-five seconds. Get that head moving, girls. Get that head moving. Fire off the head movement. There you go. Firing off that head movement is the ticket. 
Let's go, Jesus. Stay in that pocket. Keep your hands up. There you go, Alex. Bite down. There you go, Alex. Nice, Ryan Ventura. God damn, the dog is really coming out of my boy Ryan. I fucking love it. <laughs> look at the look in his eyes, right? I make hunters. Nice, girls. Switch! Oh, yeah. It's good, though. It's good. It's a fight. Yes, she is. Let's go. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And time, everybody. <laughs> Come on. Here we go, I got it right here. Let's work. 